welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Microphone check. I just want to make sure that y'all can hear me loud and clear before I start to go in. I hope you guys are doing well, well, well today. You're here with Lashley on Intro to Investing in Tax Lean Mondays. All right, so every Monday, we're going to get together and we're going to talk about um, basically the tax lien process and how to get started. And we're going to make sure that everyone gets a chance to get a full understanding of different ways to get into the tax lien game, not just go out and invest. So give me one second while I make sure that our broadcast is working well. And everything is going all right. Bear with the process. Y'all know I'm my own producer. And usually, I have to just triple check to make sure that we're doing good. All right. I think we are live. We are live. The notifications didn't go out. But if you got the notifications, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to put myself on the screen just for a second. Because this is supposed to be podcast style. But I want to let y'all know I am a human. And all information is shared by Lashley Primetime Home Buyers. All information that we share is trademark and copywritten by Primetime Home Buyers. So that shout out is to YouTube and to Instagram as well as Facebook. So when we upload, I can stop fighting copyright disputes. I just have to throw that in there. I woke up today to so many copyright disputes for my own content. So it's a little appalling. A little, a little appalling to see. But we're going to keep on keeping this freight train going. Let me see. Can I pop on the screen just to say hey? And we're going to talk a little bit. Please bear with me. Right. So today we're going to actually be going into the website. And we're going to start to go through the program. The intro program. But before we do that, let me fix my light. And I had to work out of my bedroom today, y'all. I do apologize. My son is working in the family room. So excuse my, um, my bed in the back. All right, let's get this broadcast started. So today, I just want to start off by getting in the mindset of a tax lien investor and why I feel that it's very important at this time for many individuals to learn this skill. This skill will allow you to enter the tax lien arena with knowledge, with the full comprehension of what you're getting into, and we give you the keys to be able to do your due diligence. And we talk about due diligence because it is very important to take the time and research before you put any money down on property. And that's even if you're going through a conventional loan. Now, as you know, we're in a special situation. Many individuals are locked out of the housing market. Not just brown melanated people, low income people, minority people. But many individuals have been knocked out of the box because of the last two years ordeal. As we mentioned many times, people have lost employment, which caused break in their employment history. As you know, when you go for any conventional loan, you at least have to have two years or depending on the um, loan company, one year of consecutive work, work history, verifiable income, or as well as you have to have a certain um, credit score or above a certain credit score and we're looking to be above 600 if you're a first time home buyer to actually get you qualified to start for them to even look at you um there's many more factors that you have to submit to when you're going through this process and i know this process because i have went through it and i am not saying that any time that conventional loans are nothing or something that's totally evil but we do know that conventional loans can leave you paying a mortgage on a house of $125,000, increasing it to about $195,000 if you stay on that payment plan. So in future broadcasts, when we do Hints and Tips Fridays, we're definitely going to talk about ways to pay off your mortgage a little bit faster. 
there's a lot of content creators that put this information out there ask for you to review it and to take the skills and the knowledge that people are sharing with you so you can enhance your life so what I have found is a great catapult within just investing in tax liens is one you have the time to build your credit while you are still in the game to invest in tax lien or properties because while you're trying to rebuild your credit ensure that you have um, adequate work experience to meet the criteria for these conventional loans you can be working with prime time home buyers investing in tax liens and tax deeds literally myself I'm going to use my personal experience by investing in tax liens and tax deeds. Not only have I built residual income coming from one different stream by, you know, properties that have been redeemed by the tax lien um, by the homeowner, but I also have been able to secure property. Now, what that goes to say, I was looking for lots. I'm looking for land and lots. This allows me not only to have the opportunity to do many things with these lots, but to also use the lots for surety slash collateral. So if I wanted to go a separate, a different route to look for a loan to possibly buy more property or more assets, now I have assets to solidify a loan, an uh, unsecured loan, which, you know, when you have assets to secure that loan, the interest rate goes down, okay? So imagine you start off, you know, bad credit, low income, you like, hey, I really got to get out of this um, renting game. Rental prices is above, totally above the roof. Um, last time I checked, the average cost of rent in New York is about $5,000, and it is going up across the board, across every state. That is happening because we do not have control of the market. But just imagine that we're, you're in this situation and you take the time to get into the buyback team, learn how to invest in a tax lien in any state. Let's say you're in New York and you're like, hey, I got to get out of here. I want to go to Arizona um, and start to look into Arizona. We actually just did a podcast. We just did one last week on hints and tips. So you can look into, I think we did Arizona and we have done Alaska now. So, what that goes to say, you can take that information, build off of that information, do your research from home, from the comfort of your home in the internet, and start to see if you can invest from your home. We're going over, we have went over over-the-counter um, tax lien sales, and we will continue to, to educate you about these counties that do over-the-counter. So, I believe we learned last week that actually... Alaska does over the counter and um, I don't have the paper but there's a few other states so let's imagine you were able to enter it you bought a thousand dollar tax lien it took you about seven months to save a thousand dollars and you bought your first tax lien so in the state of Arizona I believe you have a three-year redemption time you have a credit score of 500 not only does this give you time, three years, to have extensive knowledge about the real estate market via taking primetime home buyers tax lien and tax deed course, tax liens, and you're waiting for them to redeem or to possibly do the foreclosure. Year three, you have noticed that three of your tax liens were never redeemed. And three years later, you have now have the opportunity to foreclose on not one, not two, but three properties. This is one of the primary benefits of investing in tax liens and tax deeds. Because not only do you have a chance to end up with one property, but if you do this game right, you have the possibility to come, come back with three properties. Four, maybe depending on how your hustle is, what's your goal in the matter of three years. Highlighting on the reverse, 
if you wouldn't have just worked, waited to build your credit, save money for your down payment, by year two, you'll be able to possibly apply for the loan. And this loan process so sometimes it takes three to six months. So let's say two and a half years in, going into three years, you're able to solidify a $150,000 loan and you're able to enter into your first home. The marked difference between these two processes is that one, when you go through the tax lien process and you are able to foreclose on these properties, these properties are outright yours with no mortgage. The only thing that you have to make sure that you're ready to pay is actually the upcoming taxes, foreclosure procedures if you need to do that in particular states, as well as having insurance for your property and be ready to do what you need to do. It's either you're gonna rent it, sell it, sublease it, you can contract it, there's so much you can do. So versus having $150,000 debt liability because we know your first home it's not an asset your first home is a liability versus you going through the tax lien process being able to acquire five certificates noting that only two of them redeemed let's say one of them redeemed one person paid their their back and you got your little your in your um interest you got the penalties you saw the process work. But after that four year redemption time, you have four outstanding tax liens and you can move forward on that process. Giving you two distinctions of paths you can take. Imagine foreclosing on all three of those properties and the value for, let's say each tax lien is about, I'm just gonna be moderate. $50,000. Let's say it's a lot. Let's say it's not it's land. Let's say it's not even, not even houses. $50,000 each. You will have an asset or a net worth. You will have assets and a net worth of about $150,000 minus your liability, which is insurance, maintaining another property. And um, that's about it. So me explaining these two scenarios to you, you can obviously see which one will give you more benefit. And I'm not saying at no time not to apply for a loan. Maybe that's your goal. You had a specific house you want. You want to get secure this home and it's $150,000 and you know the market is good and you want to go look at conventional loan. You will possibly end up in three to four years with your home that you wanted through the lending process if you feel that that actable and three properties each sub each you know i'm giving moderate fifty thousand and we know these properties are not worth fifty thousand they're worth more especially if you're getting full homes especially if you're getting acres of land through tax liens there is a significant difference of the deposit on a tax lien versus a deposit on a mortgage or even going to the foreclosure process. With primetime home buyers, we want to teach you this concept so you will be able to enter the market and you be able to acquire more than one property at one time. The reason why this is so important is because not only me, when my generations to come, you and your generations to come have to deal with this current market. And the way things are looking, our kids are not going to be able to afford any homes because the cost of living far exceeds the cost of income. Well, the rate of income increase, let's say that in the United States, all the inflation that take that have taken place over the last two years. We have not have inflation on our pay rate. No one across the board, except for CEOs and owners of big corporations that had, you know, something to do 
with um, treatments related to our pandemic. So, keep that in mind. I said a mouthful. Let's move on. So, primetime home buyers, we currently have a startup list. Excuse me. Hold on one second. I gotta clear my throat. I do apologize. We currently have a startup list. This startup list is located with the free course that you can sign up at primetime home buyers buyback.org which we offer you a full four hour intro course to tax lien and tax deed sales. Teaching you key information to understand in the process, um, risk factors in the process, and key research elements that you need to get started. So with the four hour course, you will be able to just start your research process. And you probably will may be successful but you still would be playing Russian roulette. What we offer with the full course is full-blown education. That education consists of doing research on the particular investment before you put a penny down. That research consists of title search, soft title searching. And we talk about what's a soft title searching. On Hints and Tips Friday, we'll be doing a broadcast on that soon. Soft title searching where you'll be able to find encumbrance on the title or uh, any issues which is regarding liens from creditors on the title. Also, we teach you how to look for a federal lien, which is most important because as a tax lien investor, we do have first rights, main priority. And this means that if there's a mortgage on that particular tax certificate, and you go to foreclose, that lender must pay you if they want the property. And they must pay you what you invest, your interest, and the penalties. This is how strong of a position you are as a controller, as being a tax lien, a tax deed investor. You become a controller. The only person that you don't have any power over is the feds. So if there is an IRS lien, that means that you may not want to invest in the property depending on how much the lien is versus the fair market value in your investment or you may want to you may not you know you may want to invest i mean and i do apologize you may want to invest and that will get you prepared before you even put your money down of starting to calculate how much will I have to spend to invest. That is the first thing we talk about is mindset, setting a budget. What is our goal? So I will set a goal and make sure that I don't exceed it when I'm doing my tax lien research. That goal has to be realistic and in conjunction with my actual idea. So we go into those topics at the beginning of the course. Your options, mindset, and the research tools that you need. So, we start off with setting up our operation. If you want to be a tax lien guru, let me stop. If you want to be a tax lien investor, some of the key things that you need to have is a basic office area or right here, piece of your bedroom. Comfy chair, desk, filing cabinet, because you want to make sure that you are able to keep your investments in order. That is very important. This can be a high volume investment area, meaning you have five or six tax liens out. You in different states, you maybe have two different states. That's what we start. We say start with one state, and once you know the process and you strong, you add on different states. They have different timelines of redemption. There's different times that you bought the tax certificate that you have to be aware of how that would affect your actual investment. So we ask you to have particular um, ways to file and to track your investment. It's very important. So you can know the redemption dates, when they expire, and what to expect back. This is how high volume it is. You have five tax certificates. You know in six months, if 
you're in Maryland, that you have the right to foreclose. So you date your calendar for six months. You have one in um, Georgia. You date your calendar for one year, and you take it as that. So when I say have a filing cabinet, it could be electronic. It could be a physical filing cabinet, but you need a way to track your investments because once you get into the tax lien game and you become a beast, there's no turning back. You're going to have residual income coming in. You're going to have checks that come in from property that has been redeemed. And you need to make sure you buy a tax certificate and you receive any interest that is reported to the government. So have your laptop, have a printer for your business operation. Okay. That's pretty much what you need to get started. You don't have to go to the auctions. If you are a person you know, that gets intimidated and it's like, it's just too much to be involved in that. We have options for you. You can participate. We need you. We need as much regular people to get into the market so we can take back control of the market. The inflation is out of control and we cannot leave this situation to our kids. This is why I'm so passionate about teaching about tax lien investments and opening the door to minority, underprivileged, people who have been locked out. Okay? What did they say? The last shall be first, and this is how you shall be first. So try to think outside of the box. Imagine learning this process today, 2022. July and by next year June you are investing in tax liens you have three out and now you're able to learn about the foreclosure process it gives you time because now the redemption process starts and now you can build more money and invest in other tax liens and when it's time to start foreclosing you'll foreclose back to back back to back Back to back. It's easier said than done, but it can be done. I'm living proof. Okay? All right. So, things to remember with starting your investment. Brainstorming process. Seek investments in an area that you are familiar with. Remember that. Or easy to or easily accessible. If you can send someone, a realtor, family member, or just use the GIS map. We teach you how to locate GIS maps in particular states to help you see your investment, cross-reference how it really looks versus Google versus, let's say, a realtor um, platform so you can reassure yourself that this is the property that you are investing in sitting from your own home. Ensure that you do a thorough pre-check of your investment property before purchasing a tax lien or tax deed. I have to stress it. Please. We give you all the tools to be able to look at the property. You don't even need to hire anyone. When I invested my property in Maryland, I had no real estate person out there to look at it. And I was able to pick some good property. Search key information, and we're going to give you that key information. This is all that you... You can find in course one that is free, but I show you how to do it by visual. We have PowerPoints that you can download as well as PDFs. So you're going to start your research process off with looking for the county tax assessor. I don't care what state it is. I don't care what county it is. Every county has a tax assessor's office. That's where you're going to find your base information about the tax lien sale or tax lien auction or over-the-counter sale. You ask for tax sale information and you, before you call, we say look at the frequent ask questions. It's very important. It will break down everything. I have seen counties that literally teach you what you need to do to even foreclose and then give you the date when it's time for you to start. Everything is right there for you. Literally sitting right there in your bedroom doing the research you need hunting for properties. You can go hunting for properties, take two hours out of your Saturday, 
6 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock and hunt for properties via texting sales with using these steps that I show you, okay? So you're going to look for the tax, lien, it's the tax assessor's office. You're going to ask them, do they have over-the-counter um, tax liens available? Or do they just do private auctions? You're going to look for that information. We have a list of who do over-the-counter. So you probably don't even need to ask them. But if you don't take the course, I advise you to ask them because you may can just, like I said, you can participate from your home. And that's the over-the-counter sale. This is the over-the-counter sale. The auctions, you do have to take your booty out there or you have to have somebody go out there. But I'm talking about the over-the-counter where you can do it from home to start safely, slowly, teaching yourself, using the keys that we have here to advance your knowledge. About the time you finish our program, you'll know how to research law. You can look any law up at this point, not just real estate, not just landlord-tenant, criminal law, whatever you want to know, we have it for you, okay? Now, you want to ask about the auction requirement, application requirements, the dates and fees. If it's over the counter, what is those requirements? What is the bidding practices you want to know? In our glossary, if you go look for these certain, we have a section to highlight different bidding practices. So we have premium bidding, we have bid down print bidding, we have uh, seal bidding, we have different types of bidding. So you need to figure out how the um, county actually does their bidding process. But if you have the directory that's located in primetime home buyers, you'll be able to know how they do their tax lien sales because we have all that information for you. So keep so when you're looking, you're looking for key property information to research. And this is going to go into course two. Okay? You want to highlight some of those things. You want to look at for the county tax bill history. Homeowners information, address, wills, pendant court cases. We teach you how to do that. Tax year bill information, outstanding or unsatisfied. You want to go to the tax assessor website and make sure that not only the property address is correct and it match across all boards, but you want to pay attention to the homeowner's information. Because when you take the homeowner's information, you can use that to go into finding out if the homeowner, not just the home, have pending issues or court cases that's in connection to the home. I have seen it. I have seen it. People get fines on the home. People have cases in court that is connected to the home. So we teach you these things so you don't have to invest and even pull yourself into the rigmarole. You want to also look at the parcel identification number, the tax assessor identification number, the block number, and the book number. I'm giving you keys. These are the key things that you need to start to note when you're going into research about your property. And these key things can be applied to any state. I just need you to know what to look for. So when you're at the tax assessor website, you want to make sure that when you're looking at that bill, you got the owner's information, parcel ID number, block number and book number. You want to make sure that you look at the bills because that's going to tell you if you have a tax lien that's $535 and then you go look at the bill history and there's about four years that's missing. That means that that county didn't put all of their um, liens together and it's separate. So you have to seek all four of those tax lien certificates. Most counties have been doing pretty good where they literally put all the years together and you can combine them and buy them because it makes it much easier. But you need to pay attention to that. That's why I tell you to look at the county bill information. I do apologize. Okay. So the next entity you want to start to look into is the county clerk office. This is going to give you information on the property and the grant tour. And this is the owner. 
you'll be able to start to locate deed information at the county clerk office or the county recorder's office, depending on the state. You need to know these entities. These entities, again, are the tax assessor's office, the county clerk's office, and the court recorder's office of that county. These three entities, just to start, will give you the bulk of the information that you need to verify this property location, the homeowner, and how it looks. History, as far as tax history, fair market value, and it will give you an idea what you can do with this property. Okay? So when you go to the counter, uh, the court recorder, you can find things like deeds, court judgments, and other liens on the property. All right? And we're going to stop right there. I'm not going to give you everything on the checklist. I'm not going to give you everything on the checklist. But this is how you get started. Right from your home. Googling tax assessor's office in um, Buffalo, New York. Do Buffalo, New York office tax lien certificate sale? It starts as easy as a Google search. You can do it. You can invest in any state you want to. Puerto Rico or Guam. I'm actually going to start to look into Hawaii and Puerto Rico. Because Puerto Rico is rebuilding. Okay. And Hawaii is beautiful. So this is my plan to get some vacation property out there. You never know. So this is why it's so important for you guys to have an option. And this is why you have Lashley here to help open the back door. Me, I'm the type of person that I don't take no for an answer. And I definitely don't like too much interest. I don't like interest at all. I definitely don't like overpaying for things that I know I can get cheaper. So by learning this process, not only do you have the capacity to acquire property at a like low, low, way below market value, but you have the chance to acquire more than one property at a time. This is the difference when you invest in tax liens and tax deeds. Because when you're going for a mortgage and a loan, you can't do three, four houses at the same time unless you, uh, you know, Bill Gates or, or um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. We're just, over here, we're just Poor Dad. We try to figure it out. We like, we like Rich Dad. We try to catch up. Okay? We, we try to catch up over here. <laughs> so I hope that you guys got a, you know, mm, had a deep understanding at least or intro understanding of some important aspects of why you should get invested in tax liens and tax deed sales why is it important to educate yourself from the conventional way they have taught us why is it important to join the buyback family I think it's very important we have a community where when you join the buyback family that basically means that you have entered the course. You have access to all the downloadable information, videos, as well as our community that we are building. This community will be able to share information. This community will be diverse from different states. So if you're in Florida and you want to invest in Texas and we have a member out there, you and that member may can work together to start to invest in property together or that person can probably be your eyes and help you out because this is the community we build it our goal is not to abstract money from you but our goal is to educate you we're going to have different courses that are released once you pay for the course you have a lifetime membership there's no back seas, no nothing we always add to the course but we do have separate courses that will be charged separately. But just know if you're part of the buyback team, you will have more benefit being part of the team, more resources at the tip of your hand. We have also updated the referral section. I've met a lot of beautiful individuals who have pretty good skills, real estate, insurance, 
title search. Um, what else what we got up there? We have um, building inspectors. We are going to continue to add to that page because we need our um, buyback team members to have access to resources across the whole 50 United States. This program, we're going we to share it all. So I want to say thank you for being here with Lashley today. Please join the buyback team, get in for free, as well as join uh, the Facebook Facebook Primetime Home Buyers page and group where we update at least two to three times a week with content to make you think. We also have a group called Secure Your Energy and that is focused on more economic issues because you can't be in one market and don't know about the other market. You can't think you're going to get in a tax lien game and don't realize that people can't afford properties at the rate that it's currently at. You can't be blinded to one side and have an open mind to the other side. So with Secure Your Energy, Building Generational Wealth Facebook group, we share information like that. We're going to continue to link all of our social media platforms that's going to educate you. So we ask you to join Primetime Home Buyers YouTube page. If you're not a member already, subscribe, subscribe. As well as we have a YouTube page called Secure Your Energy. And with Secure Your Energy, as I told you, we host basically um, a slew of content creators who are specialized in their area of finance. I'm not specialized. I love to learn. And once I learn, I'm a beast. I put it all together. I use my nursing skills and I put it all together to see the full body. And this is what I want to teach you guys. How to put all the pieces together to see the full body of real estate, economy, and where we are as people, you know, as people participated in the real estate game. Are we winning or are we literally becoming debt slaves? 